If you want a pizza with that crispy, slightly charred crust, then go to a pizza place with a wood-fired oven. Or you can make one at home using a pizza stone like this. Now these are heavy. You can see I've made a few pizzas in my day. Now you can make any flavor of pizza on a stone, but today I'm making barbecue chicken pizza and oh my God, this thing is crazy good. So now the crust is everything. So here's how I make my crust. Okay. I use bread flour. You can use all purpose flour, but I use one and a half cups of bread flour. I just think you get that or that bready kind of taste. I use three quarters of a teaspoon of instant yeast. Now that's this kind of yeast, the kind that uh, you don't have to uh, proof. You know, you just put it in with your ingredients. So there's three quarters teaspoon of yeast, three quarters teaspoon of sugar, one quarter teaspoon of salt, and we'll mix that up a little bit. And then we're going to add about two thirds of a cup of warm water, about 110 degrees, and about a tablespoon of olive oil. So I can do that together, I think. I'll put the oil in there and start adding the, uh, the water. Pick it up a little bit. You add the water slowly because you don't want to add too much and you want it just to have a dough that kind of comes together in a ball. So I use, most of the time I use almost all the water, maybe a little bit more. If it's a little dry on the bottom, I just add a little more. That looks, yeah, so it's starting to come together like a, a solid dough. So now I use this mixer, uh, which is, you know, it's fantastic for something like this. And the paddle is all you need. And for, in about two minutes, this will be a nice, it's already coming together, you can see, a nice uh, ball of dough. Okay, it's looking good. It's been about two minutes. And that's all, that's all that takes. Now, I'm going to take this out and put it in a lightly greased bowl, which I have right here. The bowl, just a little light film of olive oil. You put it into the bowl, you roll it around to cover it so it doesn't dry, flip it over, and you put, cover it with some saran wrap or some kind of plastic wrap, and there's the dough. And that's going to sit for about an hour until it doubles in size. Uh, in a warm spot is good, but even at room temperature it does just fine, it rises up just fine. So that rests for an hour. Now here's the thing about the oven. Those wood-fired pizza ovens get to be like 750 degrees, so they're really, really hot. So what you do is you take a cold pizza stone and you put it in a cold oven, and then you start heating that oven up to as high as it'll go. Mine will go to 500. I already have one going in there because it takes so long. So there's a stone in there. It's preheating to 500 degrees. It's, it takes about an hour for that. The dough takes about an hour. So while those are going on, you have time to put together your ingredients. Okay, we're going to start with the chicken. Now you can use leftover chicken, rotisserie chicken. If you have some leftover barbecue chicken, great. I didn't have any, so I sauteed like a large chicken breast and a little olive oil, salt and pepper. Then I uh, cut it up uh, sort of across the grain and I shredded it a little bit. So you can, whatever is sliced, shred it however you want it. And then you stir in a couple of tablespoons of your barbecue sauce into the chicken. So that's ready to go. We're also going to put some onion on the pizza. So red onion is great. A little bit more antioxidants in the red onion. So we'll take, um, we won't use all of this. I'll cut like two, two uh, sections, but uh, whatever of this we use, I, I like to blot some of the moisture off the onion. So uh, because the less moisture you put on your pizza, the crispier it's gonna be. So I'm just gonna blot this a little bit just to uh, take some of the moisture away. So there's your chicken. I mean, there's your chicken and your onion. And now the cheese. So I use this um, part skim mozzarella cheese, which is naturally low in fat. You don't need a lot of cheese. There's so much flavor on this pizza. So don't complain about there's not enough cheese on this. This is eight ounces. So we're going to use uh, a little over half, about four to five ounces of this. And um, so I'll cut it uh, just about in half and a, a little bit more than half, maybe four and a half to five ounces. Now I shred my own cheese for pizza because the shredded stuff that comes in the package, I don't know, they add something to it that I think makes it too dry. So this gives it nice moisture and it just takes, what, you know, not even a minute to shred this cheese. So I encourage you to shred your own cheese for your pizza. Okay, that looks like about the end of the shredding. Get those last little pieces, okay. All right, and one more thing we have to do is prepare the pizza peel. And this is what it looks like. And you will have to have one of these because it's the only way to get the pizza on that very hot stone. Now, a lot of people like to put, uh, spread this with some cornmeal. 
because you have to have something on here so you can kind of slide the, uh, the, uh, the pizza off of here. I'm, I don't like that because sometimes it burns. So I just use a piece of parchment paper and I, and I just line it with parchment paper and it slides right off and then you can pull the paper off later and it's just much easier. So the peel is ready, the uh, chicken's ready, cheese is ready, onion's ready. Now it's time to make some pizza. Okay, well this is what the dough is going to look like after about an hour. It's doubled in size and we're going to make the, uh, the pizza crust. And you have to work on a floured surface, so I just kind of lightly flour my board here. You put the dough on there. And we can start to... I always spank my dough. I don't know why I do that. My good luck. My good luck pizza spank. All right. So um, sometimes you can roll it, but it's really nice if you can just kind of press it out. And stretching kind of builds up the, uh, the dough a little bit, too. You just keep stretching, and pretty soon you'll, you'll have just the right size. This will be maybe, I don't know, 12 inch pizza or so. And that's about, you can keep, keep putting it down to look at it. Yeah, it's going to have that nice, nice thick uh, crust on the edge. All right, so now I'm going to put it on, in, in, on here, and again, you could have this, uh, uh, what do you call it? cornmeal on here, but I like the, the uh, parchment paper. So now you can start kind of stretching it out some more. And I like to kind of use the side of my hand to make a, that, that kind of a crust. Now you're going to get that nice bubbly crust on the end when you do that. Okay, I've been uh, stretching and pressing and everything, and I've got it just about where I want it. And now we'll put on, layer the ingredients and get this thing in the oven. So we start with sauce, and it's about a half cup of sauce. This is about a half cup to two-thirds. So, you know, just kind of your, your favorite barbecue sauce, whatever it is, just kind of uh, ladle it on here. Um, I like that kind of sweet, uh, I don't know if it's Kansas City style, but that sweet kind of sauce. So I think I put two-thirds of a cup in here, so I think this is going to take about a half a cup. Okay. There it is. Boy, this I can smell this already. Okay, there's the sauce. Now we're going to put on the uh, some cheese. And I'll save some of the cheese for a little topping afterwards, but you put on your cheese. I try to get it a little bit off the edges because if it spills on the pizza stone, it'll it'll burn. Okay? All right, now the chicken. Now the chicken's a little bit messy. I think I'll use my, I'll use my gloves for this. You just, uh, you can use bigger chunks, smaller chunks, whatever works for you. You want to make sure there's a, you know, at least a piece of chicken in every bite. Attention to detail always works when you're doing anything. So um, I'm just making sure there's chicken in every bite. Looks like we have. Okay, now um, I will do the onions. And it doesn't take a lot. I, I like the bigger so I leave the smaller pieces, uh, here, let me show you. I like to take the bigger kind of uh, round pieces like that. So we just, um, colored side up is nice. We'll put a few little, uh, like little onion rings on here, like this. And I think that's about it. Okay, now a, a little bit of, of cheese on top if you have it left is always nice. Put just a little bit on top, and this thing is ready to go. Okay, now the oven's been preheating for um, an hour. Looks good. Check it over. Now you'll see this is how you're going to put it in the oven. See, it slides so easily with this parchment paper. You just go in there because you might not be able to see inside. You go in there, you just slide it onto the stone, which is extremely hot. So this is what I'm going to do right now. Here it goes, hot, 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 slide it off, close it right away, keep the heat in, and that cooks for about 10 minutes. You keep an eye. After about seven minutes, you can uh, take, take the peel, turn it, you'll see, and we'll pull the paper off, and it'll be done in about 10 minutes. Okay, the pizza's ready. Oh my God, look at this. Ah! 
It's still bubbling. Can you hear that? Look at this. Let it cool down for just a second before you cut it. But if, I wish you could smell this. This is like, oh, this is my new favorite pizza. It used to be, oh, can you hear that? Listen. It's very hot, but look at that. Look at that. This is, see, I like, this is the part that I like, that big puffy, puffy crust. I should let it cool just a little bit more, but I'm just dying to, to, to try a piece of this, okay? My favorite used to be pepperoni, but this one is healthier, has more flavor, and it is my new favorite pizza. But I'll tell you something. You gotta be careful because you gotta keep your eye on the pizza because everybody wants a slice of this pizza and I worked hard on this pizza. This is my pizza and I want it back. That's just wrong.